16 personalities as sports, ESTP, boxing, reactive, immediate, and more than a bit brutal at times. More importantly, the only time where ESTPs really don't have to pull their punches. ISTPs, motocross, high octane, adaptability testing, and mechanical. It combines a need for mechanical mastery with the anti-social convenience of wearing a helmet. INFJ, yoga, introspective, reflective, and a true test of control. Is yoga an actual sport? Not really. So that's perfect for the INFJs. It's a way to find your inner peace, or at least your inner hamstring. ENFJ, relay, cooperative, supportive, and dependent on trust. The success of the team depends on each runner, and the most powerful incentive is not wanting to let other people down. ENTP, triathlon, tough, challenging, and able to give ENTPs the level of variety they need. Although, by the time they're done with it, it might escalate to an octathlon, involving sports that they just made up. INTP, eSports, technical, precise, and problem-solving, and also involves people, as long as you don't need to meet them in Flesh World. You might laugh at them now, but wait until the remote-controlled drone wars begin. ISFJ, Marathon. The Greek messenger who ran from Marathon to Athens in 490 BC before collapsing and dying was almost certainly a duty-bound ISFJ. What better sport for the masters of long-term consistency? ESFJ, rowing, cohesive, harmonious, and synchronized. A sport where people have to pull together, um, literally, and only maximum team effort will get the job done. ENTJ, American football, not to be confused with actual football, you know, where people kick the ball with their foot. Commanding, strategic, and intense. I'm of course imagining ENTJs at the quarterback position, calling plays, delegating the ball to minions, and field marshalling their way to victory. INTJ, chess boxing, Yes, that really is a thing. The ideal marriage of the sweet science and the deadly game, where INTJs can flex their intellectual dominance and also remember that they consider many people's faces to be quite punch-worthy. ISFP, dance, expressive, artistic, and individualistic. Dance is an art form that demands emotional honesty, creativity, and personal expression. ISFPs know that life isn't always about following the rhythm, but also finding your own beat. ESFP, beach volleyball, Competitive and athletic, yet not entirely visually unappealing either. Essentially, a day out on the beach with added benefits. ISTJ, golf, methodical, focused, and solo. Golf is a game of precise repetition and avoiding pitfalls such as bunkers and lakes. Also, not necessarily what most people would consider interesting. ESTJ, fencing. Traditional, precise, formal, and previously deadly. A very valid reason to poke and prod people in aggressive ways. ENFP, frisbee, golf. Frisbee golf, also known as disc golf, is inventive, high energy, and weird. It's a sport that makes no sense, and nobody asked for, yet somehow it works. INFP, freestyle, swimming liberating, serene, and in some sense, in touch with nature. A sport where you can do it entirely your own way and still have a chance of winning. Give your hand some exercise. No, not that kind. And move your mouse to the subscribe button. It makes a big difference to the video and the Love Who channel overall. And if you feel tempted by the dark underworld of the typology community, then join the Love Who Discord server. The link for that is down below in the description of the video.